with the current development of quantum mechanics and its applications, the significance of the topic is quite visible and hence the open problems related to it. In this video, we'll talk about such a problem and more interestingly, it's a bridge between quantum mechanics and graph theory. As a small prerequisite, note that a perfect matching of a graph is the set of vertex disjoint edges which cover all the vertices. Consider this graph. How many possible perfect matchings do you see? If you got it right, then good job. There are two perfect matchings. Note how these two matchings have edges of the same color. These two matchings are called monochromatic. We further note that this graph does not contain any other matchings. More specifically, there are no matchings which are not with the same color edges. These kind of graphs are called monochromatic. In this case, the number of monochromatic perfect matchings, which is precisely the number of perfect matchings, is 2. Hence, this graph is monochromatic. An interesting thing that we can think of is an upper bound on the number of perfect matchings for a certain monochromatic graph with n vertices. Let's identify the maximum number of perfect matchings on a monochromatic graph with n vertices by C max n. This simply denotes the maximum number of perfect matchings of a monochromatic graph. Let's take this complete graph on four vertices. There are three possible perfect matchings and all of them are monochromatic, which in turn makes the graph monochromatic. This is the maximum possible number of monochromatic perfect matchings we can get from a graph with four vertices. Therefore, we have in fact C max of 4 equals 3. Interestingly, except for n equals 4, for any other monochromatic graph with 2m vertices for some m, the maximum possible number of matchings we can get is 2. This claim was proven by Ilya Bogdanov in the year 2017. Let's have a look on how it goes. A fun thing to note. Two perfect matchings together gives a cycle. We saw previously the existence of edge design perfect matchings for a cycle with alternate edges colored differently. But if we get two distinct cycles as a result of the union, we'll be able to get a perfect matching which is not monochromatic. Now, if we try introducing a third matching, there will be two cases. In case we are able to find an edge which splits the vertices into even parts, we will be able to get a matching which is not monochromatic. Great, what if the only edges we have splits the vertices into odd parts? In that case, we will be able to find two edges incident on neighboring vertices crossing each other. The crossing edges together will partition the vertices into three sections giving rise to a matching which has multicolored edges. We have now seen edge colorings and monochromatic perfect matchings. Now let's try coloring the vertices. For this graph, consider the perfect matching. We'll now color the vertices with the same color as their incident matching edge. Of course, there can be multiple possible colorings depending on the matching. This kind of coloring is also called inherited vertex coloring. Before diving in deeper, let's take a glimpse of weighted edges, which is simply an edge with a certain complex or real weight defined on it. Let's return to the previous example. For this matching, we can define the vertex coloring as this sequence of colored dots. Similarly, for this matching, We'll now define the weight of a coloring as the following. This is simply a sum over the perfect matchings with a certain vertex coloring C of the product of the weights of the edges of the matching. For this graph, let's give some weights on the edges, say 1 for the single colored edges and e to the i pi for the bicolored. If you consider this coloring, we will find only one matching which imposes this specific coloring. 
the edges are for the single colored hence the product of the edge widths is 1 let's have a look on this coloring this is a matching which can induce this coloring product of the edge widths is 1 for this matching which induces the same coloring product of the edges is minus 1 as there are two edges which are bicolored hence the width of this coloring becomes 0 this idea leads us to a modified definition of monochromatic graphs there are the type of graphs where the monochromatic colorings which are simply vertex colorings with the same colors have a weight of 1 and all other possible colorings weigh 0. Let C tilde denote the number of possible monochromatic colorings with unit weight. Now a similar question that we might have is for a given number of vertices what's the maximum possible monochromatic coloring possible with all other possible colorings weighing 0. In other words what's the maximum number of ways we can color the vertices of a monochromatic graph. Well, this is an open problem till date. The importance of this question on perfect matchings finds its importance greatly in quantum mechanics. To have a brief overview, consider this setup where the red boxes act as source of photon pairs. The bottom two sources produce horizontally polarized photons, whereas the top two sources produce vertically polarized photons. For the fourfold coincidence, each detector must receive a photon simultaneously. That is possible when either the bottom two or the top two sources emit photons together. Let's name the sources and the detectors and try creating a graphical representation. The vertices represents the detectors. Now consider the vertices A and B. Which is the common source for a photon for them? It's source 3. So we will draw an edge between A and B and name it 3. We will do the same thing for every pair. The final output state is now in a superposition state. If we have a look on the perfect matchings of the graph, we will note that this matching talks about the case where the photons are emitted from source 3 and 4 whereas this matching talks about the case where the sources are 1 and 2 therefore the output state is just the superposition of the matchings check out the description to know more about this problem and the recent advancements in it